simple fact. Wheat products, such as two slices of whole wheat bread, raise your blood sugar higher than nearly all other known foods, thereby triggering this thing I call a wheat belly. Well, I got started with the wheat belly conversation a number of years ago just because I was, became so frustrated with the number of people who were pre-diabetic or diabetic coming to my office for heart disease prevention. Well, I started out with a very simple observation, and that is wheat products, such as whole wheat bread, raise your blood sugar higher than nearly all other known foods. And so I'd have patients take wheat out of their diet. They'd come back three months later, 30 pounds lighter, their blood sugars did indeed drop from the diabetic or pre-diabetic range, but it was all the other things they started to tell me, such as their asthma had improved so much that they stopped three inhalers. Their rheumatoid arthritis improved, their ulcerative colitis improved, their acid reflux went away, their irritable bowel syndrome got better, the rash of eight years disappeared, on and on and on. It became clear, the more I heard these stories, that this was not an accident, this was not a coincidence, this was real, and that people were experiencing incredible improvements in health just by the elimination of this thing being sold was called wheat. Wheat can be addictive. It's a simple matter that there's a protein unique to wheat called gliadin. Now gliadin is converted to, oddly, a morphine-like compound that has the capacity to cross into the brain and bind to the morphine receptors. Now that causes a need for more. It increases your desire for more wheat. It increases your desire for other foods. In effect, the gliadin protein of wheat is an appetite stimulant. So people who consume, consume wheat want more food. They consume more, they need more, and it's an unending uh, effort to always feed that monster. And so the way to turn it off is to stop eating the source of gliadin protein, that is stop eating wheat. What have you got to lose except your man breasts, your bagel butt, your wheat belly? Need I say more?